morning and happy vlogmas so basically every morning is going to be starting in here um, at least on weekdays while I get ready for work and unfortunately my bathroom fan is linked to the light so it's kind of loud but I cannot do literally anything about it um, so I will see how bad this is when I'm editing it um, and might just have to avoid filming in the bathroom or bring in my own lights so that I can have them on without the fan on but anyways Happy Vlogmas. It is November 30th. I am very excited to be doing Vlogmas. Obviously, this is my first year on YouTube, so I felt like it was like a rite of passage to kind of do Vlogmas in your first year, even though, you know, you don't have the most going on and um, not that many subscribers and whatever. I think that it's a fun thing to do, and I've always loved watching other people's Vlogmases, so I'm very excited to be doing it myself um i know it's gonna be tough with a full-time job to like edit everything and post the next day and whatnot but um what i actually have set up is that i have some content that's kind of backlogged at the moment that i haven't had a chance to post so i've been prepping some of that content um over the past like week or so um, and editing everything and, and whatnot, and I'm going to be posting that as well during Vlogmas. So, basically what the situation is going to be is that I'm still going to be posting every day in December leading up to Christmas, but not all of it is going to be vlogs like the day that things are happening, but there will be a video every single day. Some of it will just be, you know, previous stuff. So I've got like a work week in my life, that I have from before. I have my Vancouver trip vlogs. Um, I have a vlog about doing my Rebo exams, my like insurance license. Um, so I have like a bunch of different videos that are kind of like set up and ready to go that I'm just going to intersperse with the rest of my vlogmas, daily vlogging content. So that's what the setup's going to be. You'll know obviously because they're not in real time and also they won't have the like same vlogmas um, intro and outro like this video does. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope that you guys are excited for a month of daily videos and I am going to get ready for work. I was just using the um, La Neige water sleeping mask. Um, I know that it's like kind of thick and usually it's like a night cream. But I really like it, especially for winter, because I feel like it keeps my skin really moisturized um, because my skin gets very dry in the winter like everybody else's. So um, I use this like all the time in the winter because it keeps it good. So I'm going to do my hair and catch up with y'all after that. So I got the Justin Bieber uh, Tim Hortons collaboration Timbits yesterday, and we kept a couple for this morning. So there's one of each flavor, at least in here. It's um, white chocolate fudge, um, birthday cake waffle, and the sour cream chocolate chip. Griffin really likes the birthday cake waffle, so I think I'll just have a chocolate this morning so that he can have that one. So I'm all ready for work. Um, I was originally gonna do a full face of makeup, but then I just couldn't be bothered while I was in there, slash I ran out of time. Um, I'm trying to get better at curling my hair with a straightener um, because I think that the curls look nicer when they do turn out. And it's also nice to travel with only one hair tool when you are traveling. So that's kind of the goal. And some days are better than others. Today was mostly good. I've got a few pieces that didn't turn out, but Practice makes perfect. Um, you can see our walls are patched and whatnot. We haven't painted in here. Um, you guys are gonna get a bit of a sneak peek of like what the apartment's looking like and any of the projects that we work on during this month um, because I'm vlogging every day. Um, but I was thinking to myself earlier, I'm kind of glad that I have some content like backed up because um, for the most part, the people's Vlogmas series that I watch, like their whole job is YouTube. So they do like fun, interesting things most days because that's part of their job. And like, 
they've got events to go to that are like Christmas themed or they can go to like the tree farm or Christmas market like on a Wednesday. So um, I'm kind of glad that I have some extra content because I know some of these days are going to be a little empty slash very repetitive when you're watching them um, because I do you know, pretty much the same thing every single day. Um, weekends are obviously different and I have fun stuff for planned for weekends, but work days are very similar. Get up, get ready, take the dog out, walk to the bus, go to work, work, you know, eight hours, come home, work out, dinner, whatever else after that. So it'll be interesting to say the least. Um, any of the days that I post like old video footage and whatever, I will have like two days into the same vlog, if that makes sense. Like I'm still going to film every day. It's just, um, I won't be posting that content every day. So like I have a video queued up to go up on December 2nd. That's the first part of my Vancouver trip. And, uh, I will still be filming on December 1st and 2nd. I just won't post it until the 3rd and then I'll post the two days, um, in one video. So I'm going to finish making my coffee and pack up my lunch. I do have a peppermint mocha creamer. These are my favorite creamers and I found out, where does it say it? Lactose free. Um, I found this out. I think last year when I got this creamer as well, that they're lactose free and that's just a blessing. And it's very delicious too. I also mix in sometimes a little bit of um, hot chocolate in the bottom of my coffee to make it extra mocha-y. So we are actually kind of still in the process of training Groot to not be an apartment dog. Um, she's very used to only going out with us on a leash. So now that we have like a yard, we want her to be able to eventually go out on her own, hopefully before it snows, so that we don't have to worry about um, going out with her in the snow. Um, but she has to like learn, you know, what the process is and get in a routine of it. So. We're doing that right now, so we're not taking her on a leash. I just like have her leash with me because um, it has her bags on it. Um, but she's gotten way better. She's like way more comfortable out here now. She like runs back and forth, does what she needs to do, is out here for like maybe five minutes, and then we go inside. So it's promising. It just takes time. Just walking up to work now. Um, I unfortunately ripped my pantyhose on the bus on the way to work, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, I was just scratching my leg and just scratched right through my pantyhose, so a little rip there, not the end of the world, but still annoying. I have, um, I normally wear my sheer text ones, but they're just in the wash right now so I didn't have those so I just wore regular pantyhose today and they just rip like I don't know if I'm doing something particularly wrong it's just like almost every time I wear pantyhose that are not like the sheer text reinforced ones and whatever I rip them so whatever but I'm headed into work it's pretty chilly this morning um, I'm wearing like a lighter jacket because I'm wearing my giant green sweater underneath but chilly 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 today okay so I'm in at work and I just logged into my computer and this is honestly going to be one of the very few days that I'm able to talk to you guys in the morning um, I'm the only person in the office at the moment um, one of my coworkers came in this morning to get a couple hours of work in before everybody else was in because she's not feeling well so she's gonna go home and uh, rest up um, but I'm the only one in my office right now, so I can chat with you guys. Um, just set up at my desk here, um, updating my timesheet with my inf information from yesterday. Um, I'm still paid hourly at the moment. Um, that might be changing when I um, have my next evaluation. I might switch to a salary format, but at the moment I'm still hourly, so I'm still doing timesheets every week. Um, so I'm just updating that. I try and do it like on the day of so I don't forget. Like if I took a short lunch or I ended up staying, you know, 15 minutes later or whatever, um, I don't forget that. Um, 
but I didn't do that yesterday. So just doing that for today. Um, I've got a bunch of emails to hop into because my coworker came in this morning to get some work out of the way before um, they went home to um, rest up from being ill. They sent me like four emails that need to be dealt with. And uh, I actually have a training session for like an online portal service. I think this morning at 10:30, so I only have like a couple hours of work before that happens to be able to complete this stuff and I would like to bang out all of these things before um that training session. So we shall see. Um I've got my coffee here and um there's actually a couple of the Justin Bieber Timbits here that I bought yesterday that were not finished yesterday, so I'm going to snack on those for a little breakfast moment. Um, but we're gonna get into the day here. I don't even know. I think other people are coming to the office. It would be very strange if I was here all day by myself, but I'm pretty sure my manager is coming into the office. So I will catch up with y'all probably around lunchtime. Okay, I'm just on my lunch break right now. I had some leftover pasta from the weekend, and then I have this leftover gingerbread cake and applesauce that my dad actually brought us um a long time ago but I froze it and so it's still good which is lovely because it's like very holiday being gingerbread and whatnot but delish excellent lunch my um manager and then like one of the people who owns the company like went out for lunch so I don't even know when they're gonna be back because they left like I don't know 45 minutes ago but they were going like to a restaurant so I feel like they're gonna be gone for a little while so the office is gonna be quiet for this afternoon which I don't hate um but I do have a lot of things to accomplish this afternoon I've got like several things on my to-do list that are semi-pressing at least um I know I'm gonna have to call one of the insurance companies and sit on the phone with them on hold for a million years because they have updated their systems recently so the hold line for their phone is just hilariously long like it always takes forever so I know that it's gonna take a long time and I'm just like bracing myself mentally for that um but it's my tasks for the rest of the day are like very clear as to what I need to do so that's excellent and yeah the day so far the morning was nuts actually I should mention that um like a million people were emailing me about things that they needed like right now and I was like okay that's a lot of stuff to complete in a short period of time and then I also had like a training session with one of our companies this morning like an online one at 10 30 so I was like okay well I've got all these requests and emails to go through but I have this training at 10 30 that I can't miss so it was just like a question of prioritizing and making sure certain things got done and I actually got done all the things that I needed to get done before the phone call and then had a couple things to do after but it was like all good and like nobody was mad that things took like an extra minute so that went well but yeah I was just like randomly everybody at the same time was like yeah I actually need all this stuff done and I was like oh my god so managed all that but I'm hoping the afternoon's a little bit more chill because if I get bombarded with a whole bunch of stuff when I have this other list of things that I really need to do that I promised I would get done today that will be frustrating so I also like edited like on my whole lunch break more content again that's like non-vlogmas content that's like previous content that I had um that I had yet to post so I was editing my second Vancouver vlog and started editing a work week vlog as well. I'm hoping that I'll be able to intersperse those ones as well with my vlogmas content so that it keeps it a little bit fun and fresh because work is not necessarily exciting or super different every single day. So I am almost on my lunch break so I'm just gonna wrap up a couple of things and then get back to it. So I only have this like skinny mirror set up for right now so it's gonna be a little difficult to do a little outfit of the day moment but I am wearing my green oversized knit sweater from Zara and then I've got my uh, cheetah print skirt from Nasty Gal on and I just have like little fuzzy socks because I was wearing my uh, black Chelsea boots today with this and I originally had black sheer tights on but then I stabbed a hole in them this morning so I just got took them off at work because I just did not want to have them because they looked bad because I also stabbed another hole in them. So it was in both legs. So we just got rid of them and scratched that. But I did the like little sweater tuck trick in the like underwire of your bra. 
and it stays really well and it is like super flattering like how the sweater like falls um <clears throat> because it'll just kind of like billows out and it's perfect because like in a satin skirt like this like you don't want to tuck it into the skirt because it'll look really bulky so i really like this trick i'm probably gonna use it more second outfit situation for our workout i have these lululemon bike shorts i'm pretty sure they're the eight inch inseam i got them on the like we made too much page so they were on like good sale and then i have this workout shirt from my gym it says ladies who lift and then i'm wearing like an under armor sports bra that's super supportive so that's good and just popped my hair up and we're gonna hit a workout we also have these packages to open after we work out and i'm very very excited Happy that it's snowing? So I'm just about to cut up stuff for dinner. We're doing um, nachos for dinner, which I know sounds like not a dinner, but here's the thing. When we make nachos, we load them up with vegetables. So I've got bell peppers here, tomatoes, onion, jalapeno, green onion, avocado, and we do um, Beyond Meat patties with it too. So I thawed a couple of those and we're gonna fry them up like ground beef so they're actually like very substantial it's not just like cheese melted on a bunch of tortilla chips so that's what we're having for dinner and I'm just gonna prep that and then uh, have to cook the ground beef and turn on the oven so it's ready to put the nachos in when ready um, but I am going to watch a YouTube video one of my favorite um, vloggers Brogan Tate who is British just put out one of her travel vlogs. She went to Palma. So I'm going to watch that while I cut up a whole bunch of veggies and prep the nachos. Nachos all done. We're gonna dig in. I made a uh, lime crema and then we have salsa too. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> Viewer, please wait 10 minutes to find it. Harry Potter! <laughs> it's like a Christmas winter Harry Potter set. Mm -hmm. And I got it for Maggie Griffin's birthday. <laughs> Yeah? Okay, so my... <laughs> my dad ordered me an espresso for my birthday, and then this is the one with the pods in it. Do you see how many pods are in there? That's like a lot. And so it comes with like return bags, so you can like um, recycle the pods. But there's like a milli pods in here. What? What? Holy shit! What's shoot. happening? Can't swear on you. Why are there so many of them? Oh my god! We have a bigger apartment. Oh, he got me the Christmas ones. That's so exciting. It's gingerbread. That's pretty fun. That's so exciting. This is a lot, a lot of copies. What is this? Probably a DVD on how to... Notebook and pen. What the... F For what purpose? To write down my coffee thoughts, I guess? Yeah. Need to buy more coffee. Any opinions about the coffees? This is hilarious. That's a lot of pods. He said that he was getting me like 
Now this. Us. <laughs> this is pod racing. racing. <laughs> um, but he said he was getting me like a a sample pack. <laughs> And like a sample pack of the Nespresso when you like see it on their website and stuff is like 20 coffee pods or something. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. I can like figure out which ones I like and then like order them and order a bunch like on Boxing Day when they probably go on sale. Um, just kidding. I've got coffee to last me until I die. Tooth, don't lick the scissors, please. While she's using them especially. She almost got it. Whoa! Oh. It's a microphone. Very exciting. Okay. So I unpackaged her. Now I'm going to set her up and do the first run through of like water to clean it out. But it fits perfectly where my Keurig was before and also with space for me to put my uh, milk frother up here as well. So I'm very excited. It's beautiful. I got the matte black and it just has this like um, I don't know, I guess it's like brass, copper colored Nespresso logo on it, but she looks really cute. And my dad ordered me a stupid amount of coffee pods. So I'm very excited to try one of those out tomorrow morning. Nespresso is all set up. I ran the cleaning cycle, so it is all ready for tomorrow morning. And I'm very excited to make my first coffee in it tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not quite sure which pod I'm going to use yet, but I am going to pick one and I will take you through the whole process of making my first coffee with it. We are headed to bed now. It's around uh, 10 o'clock. I mean, I actually just watched the first episode of Moonbase 8. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's like a new Showtime show on Crave that we watched. Um, and it's got Fred Armisen and uh, John C. Riley in it. Um, and it was okay. I don't know if we'll watch more of it. There's other shows that we want to be watching right now. So I'm not sure if we'll keep watching it. But it wasn't bad. It's just... It wasn't quite as funny as I thought it was going to be, so we'll see. But we are headed to bed now to get a good night's sleep. I also put on earlier my Christmas sweater, so it's like the first time I've really worn Christmas stuff this year, which is very exciting because uh, tomorrow's December 1st, so I got out my other Christmas shirts, and I will probably wear one to work tomorrow because it's the first day of December, so I feel like I should. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below and please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas for the entire month of December, so there's plenty of content for you to be able to watch, and if you're subscribed, it will just come up automatically on your feed. So we will see you guys tomorrow for a new video. Bye, babe. <laughs>